In today's Cinema 4D Quick Tip, I'm going to show you how to set up custom directories for your plugins, presets, and scripts. This allows you to organize them, access them more easily, share them between users and between Cinema 4D installations, and offload those big preset libraries to a drive with more space. Now the key to all of this is environment variables and the process for setting them up is different on Windows and Mac. So we're gonna start with Windows, Mac users hang tight. To access the environment variables on Windows, simply right click on the This PC item and choose Properties. That's gonna open up your Windows system properties and in here you wanna access the advanced system settings. When you click that, it's going to open up this System Properties dialog. And in here, you want to click on the Environment Variables button. Here you have access to the User Environment Variables as well as the System Environment Variables. We're going to set up some custom environment variables for Cinema 4D, starting with the presets. The variable name for this is C4D underscore Browser Libs. And next we're going to, going to click into the variable value and choose browse directory. And we want to go ahead and browse for the directory that I've set up to contain all of my presets. It's in D, C4, D, Lib, presets. And we'll hit OK. Next we'll set up a variable for the plugins. And that variable is called C4, D, underscore plugins, underscore dir. And again, we're going to browse for the directory and find the folder that I already set up in here. Finally, we need to set up a variable for the scripts. And this is new in release 19. So if you have a previous version, this won't work. The scripts variable was added in release 19. And it's called C4D underscore scripts underscore dir. And again, we're going to browse for the directory. And find that same folder and the script subfolder. Now we'll click OK and OK again and we can launch Cinema 4D. And the Cinema 4D prefs, the Cinema 4D application directory doesn't have any plugins, scripts, or presets in it. But now you'll see that we have access to all of those plugins, all of the scripts, and all of the presets that I put in that folder. Now let's look at the same process on Macintosh. And it's a little bit trickier here because you'll need a utility called ENV pane or environment pane. Uh, you can find it on the GitHub and I will link it in the description of the tutorial. If you go down here and download the file, you'll get a DMG. And inside that DMG is just this single uh, pref pane. You simply double click on this and it'll install it into your system preferences. I've already got it installed so it's simply asking if I want to replace it. Within your system preferences you can now open up the environment variables pane and we'll go ahead and create some environment variables here. So the first thing we want to do again is add one for the browser libs or the presets in Cinema 4D. And for the value, we're going to jump over to the finder, find that folder, and drag it into the field. We'll do the same thing to create a environment variable for the scripts path and for the plugins path. And again, we'll drag the appropriate folders into the pane. And now we can go ahead and launch Cinema 4D. And here again, you'll see that we have access to all of those plugins, all of the scripts, and all of the content browser presets that are in our common path. If you want to add multiple paths, simply add a semicolon between each path. 
And the native directories, the Cinema 4D application directory, as well as the preferences directory, will also still be evaluated as well. So you can put some version-specific plugins and paths there. I hope you enjoyed this Cinema 4D quick tip. And if you did, please like, share, and visit cineversity.com for more great Cinema 4D tutorials and resources.